There are two salt marsh mosquito species along Florida's central Indian River Lagoon area that are vicious biters. Their names are Aedes tenerincus and Aedes solicitans. And the female mosquitoes of these two species lay their eggs on moist soil, which then later hatch when they're flooded either by rainfall or high tides. These species are unlike many other mosquito species in that they do not lay their eggs on standing water. So back during the 1950s and 1960s, earthen dikes were built around about 75% of the salt marshes along the Indian River Lagoon. This totaled approximately 40,000 acres of impoundments that were constructed, and this allows mosquito control to flood these marshes during the summer months, thus eliminating locations where these female mosquitoes can lay their eggs. The ecological value of these marsh areas was recognized in the 1970s and 1980s, and research demonstrated that installing culvert pipes through the dikes, thereby allowing water and organism movement between the impounded marsh and the estuary, did in fact reestablish many of the natural marsh functions. These culverts are then closed during the summer, mosquito-producing months, so that water can be held there, thus allowing for effective mosquito control through water management without the need for pesticides. The culverts are then left open during the remainder of the year, and this strategy is commonly known as rotational impoundment management, RIM for short. The Indian River Mosquito Control District manages two impoundments here on the Pelican Island National Wildlife Refuge. They're named Pete's Impoundment and Bird's Impoundment. Uh, by working with the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the Mosquito Control District has developed a special management regime for these two particular impounded areas. In order to concentrate prey fish for wading birds, some of those which nest on nearby Pelican Island, on an alternating basis annually, the Indian River Mosquito Control District draws down the water in one of these impoundments during the winter-spring nesting season.